undisputed super bantamweight champion Naoya NUA sat down with Ring TV for an interview and they asked him about specifically his fight against Stephen Fulton in which it was his first time, you know, facing a, a black fighter or, you know, African-American fighter to be PC. And he said he could he could pretty much uh, read his body language during their fight. But the specific question the journalist from Ring asked NUA was, did his facial expressions or body language show what he was thinking? To which NUA responded, I could pretty much sense what Fulton wanted to do. I try to get a sense of how my opponent feels and what he thinks about my boxing ability in the first round. I thought Fulton's facial expressions showed it clearly. I could easily see what he was thinking. I don't know if it's because he's American, but he doesn't like getting punched in the face. Their boxing style is different from Japanese fighters who fight with Yamato Damashi, which means Japanese spirit. Well, I think there are some fighters in the US who fight like that, but probably not many, end quote. I know a lot of people are gonna pick this apart and, and try to race bait and, and make it seem like anyway he's racist and he's picking on black fighters. But I do remember leading up to this fight, uh, a lot of different like people who cover boxing, especially on YouTube, kept going back to, well, anyway, he doesn't spar against black fighters. He's never fought a black fighter. What is he going to do against a slick black fighter? And I just thought, man, that has absolutely nothing to do with boxing. You know, skills are always going to pay the bills. I just feel like anyway is a better fighter than everybody, but specifically Stephen Fulton. And, you know, I, I bet it on anyway and, and made a ton of money based on that weak-ass perspective. Uh, but I'm not too sure who anyways you know speaking about in his comment he may not be speaking to anyone but we we could pretty much you know we pretty much could figure out he's probably talking about a Devin Haney uh Shakur Stevenson you can even throw Tank in there Tank fights off his back foot a lot uh, although Tank can take a punch he's been rocked several times um that could be to him you know having to improve on his defense um I don't think he's talking about Bud Crawford so much you know Bud will stand in the pocket with you uh, but I do believe he, he could be talking about those guys. You know, obviously, cool boy Steph, who, who had his track shoes on, he got dropped in the in the eighth round. But the ability of, of anyway to cut off the ring is just what made the difference in that fight. It's what T.O. couldn't do against Jermaine Ortiz. So that's why everyone's, you know, picking apart T.O. For, for that lackluster fight. Whereas anyway, if you put on your track shoes, he's going to hunt you down. Just like he did, you know, Cool Boy Steph. If you stay in the middle of the ring, he's just going to hit you with a bunch of body shots the way he did Marlon Topalis. And then even anyway, he'll back up to, to restart like he did against Topalis. So I just think he has an all-around amazing style. Your boy Drew Person, I don't think this was on the racist shit. But again, my guess is a lot of a lot of different channels are going to try and flip this into some racist, racist narrative. And they're going to say, all right, anyway, come over to America with that. Come come fight somebody out here. And I, I can't wait till the day that happens because he's going to beat everybody's ass. I don't care if the fight's in Japan, in the U.S. It, it doesn't matter. In the U.K., you can have it in Mexico. I got anyway versus the feel. But let's start the conversation. Drop a comment down below. Be sure to like, hate, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend about Dro Fats TV, and live by the golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated.